Mr. Speaker, members, what my amendment does is strike the enacting clause. I'm doing this because of the importance of DEI initiatives and programs on our college campuses and for the students and faculty. We heard testimony from over 250 individuals who testified against City Bill 17 and spoke against the bill until 3.30 in the morning. These, D, these DEI programs help foster a healthy environment for not only myself when I was going to college at the University of Texas, but for my boys when they were going to college. Similar initiatives help Ms. Wilhelmina Delco, who serves at the constituents in Eastern Travis County here in the Texas House from the 70s to the 90s, go to school in her position as chair of the House Education Committee through the 1980s. DEI initiatives arose thanks to integration laws like President Harry Truman signed an executive order desegregating the armed forces. DEI has roots in Texas thanks to the Civil Rights Act of 1964 signed by President Lyndon Baines Johnson, which made it illegal for businesses to practice discrimination as part of their hiring practices. Many colleges throughout the state excluded black Americans at their founding. DEI policies and offices are designed to remedy these legacies of exclusion that, that persist today. My alma mater, University of Texas, was founded in 1883, but allowed African-American undergraduate students on January the 8th, 1956. Texas A&M was founded in 1876, but did not allow African-Americans until 1963. While this issue is personal for me and many of my colleagues in the legislature, please know that DEI programs and initiatives aren't there to just protect people like me and people who look like me. They ex exist to foster, affirm, celebrate, engage, and strengthen inclusive communities. DEI is meant to protect everyone, regardless of race, color, or creed. I move adoption.